What's up, everybody? I'm the Bendis, and we're back with another YouTube video. Now, you guys seem to like my reactions, so this video kept getting me tagged in it all the time about this guy, the King of Random. He put these five different teeth in different types of liquids and saw if they dissolved or not. And you know what? I talk about different drinks all the time and how they can harm your teeth in different ways, specifically sodas. And one of the different liquids that he uses is Coca-Cola. So we're going to see, does Coke really harm your teeth? Do these other liquids harm your teeth? Etc. Etc. Before we get started, make sure to like the video and follow or else you're gonna have crooked teeth for life. Now let's get into it. In today's video, we're gonna test out what happens if you leave human teeth in a few drinks for over a week. Okay, so before we even get started, what would potentially happen? Let's take our guesses. If you leave five different teeth in five different liquids over a week, what do you think is gonna happen? You think the tooth's just gonna completely dissolve? You think it's gonna get hurt? i guessing that a lot of these things are gonna dissolve some of these teeth. I don't know if they're gonna dissolve it fully, but let's find out. That right, doctors, and we've got an experiment that involves teeth. Here's the basic idea. We have five different beverages as okay. liquids, and we're going to five see different what happens beverages. if we leave a human tooth in them for a week. I think a lot of us have heard ideas about Coke and some other drinks being really bad for your teeth. It's true. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a few reasons why. It's, there's the sugar, and then there's also the carbon dioxide, which affects the teeth. And that's where I'm going to stop it right here. So carbon dioxide affects the teeth. Now, this is a really important point that I bring apart. A lot of people think that it's just the sugar and sugary beverages that cause the big issue. And actually, that carbonic acid, that carbon dioxide, the bubbles that you all like, actually has some effect on the teeth as well and it can demineralize the enamel and cause a big issue so that's what makes soda so bad because they have the sugar and the carbon dioxide putting the teeth in each of those five different liquids and letting them sit for a week what do you think i think we're gonna get some dissolved i think teeth. we're gonna get some dissolved <laughs> teeth too bit, oh boy all right well we'll get i want to see what different liquids we're liquids using set up and if you want to grab some teeth we can take a look at those and then okay, I'll start soaking okay so these teeth were all extracted because there was some problem with them. They had to be removed, but they're still the same composition as a regular tooth. If you were to drink soda, we're going to have the same effect on it. Correct. Okay. So that's going to be really interesting. So these are the teeth that we're actually going to be putting in all the different liquids that we've brought today. We brought the Coca-Cola. A tooth is really interesting. It is a living entity, okay, because it is hooked up to a blood supply and a nerve supply in your mouth. But if you take it out, really, they'll stay for a really long time. That's why we find mummified teeth. We can actually find the teeth from people that have passed away and we can actually tell who the person is based off their teeth. It's called a, you know, the detective unit does it all the time in different, you know, unforeseen circumstances, obviously bad things that normally don't happen, but we can figure out who that person is that had potentially passed away from just their teeth. It's pretty crazy. Okay, saw, so we brought, brought the Coca-Cola. straight lemon juice. Lemon which of juice, course is super Very acidic. high in citric acid content. Yeah. I have carbonated water, just nothing else. Water, carbonated water. Milk and iced coffee. I think the and one iced the coffee. So this is going to be interesting. So one of the things that I, I also forgot to mention about Coca-Cola, you know, with the carbonic acid, they also have citric acid. They're very Citric acid is very common in all these different drinks, and it's one of the most harmful things to your teeth. So it's going to be interesting just seeing the carbonated water. Does the carbonation by itself cause an issue? I don't know. It's going to be really interesting to find out. So I'm thinking that the lime juice is probably going to be the worst of the batch because citric acid is just straight, I don't know, acid. But let's find out. Probably stay intact. Okay. But I think the ones with the more acid to them, I think it will actually turn the teeth almost into a kind of a jelly. A and jelly. one thing about teeth composition, yeah, because you basically have um, proteins uh, in your teeth. Okay. And the outside, which the enamel, doesn't have much proteins. It has, I think, 5%, if that. And yeah, the um, dentin layer the dentin is way actually more has about 50%. Protein. So yeah, I think exactly. you'll still have plenty of proteins on the dentin, but I think most of the enamel will be gone. You might have something very soft and squishy on the outside, but for the yeah. most part, uh, the, the enamel will be gone. So that's a great point. Now, one thing that he brought up is milk. He thinks the milk is going to be very good. And I agree with him. Milk doesn't really, it's not really that acidic. And we actually can use it sometimes as a liquid to place your teeth. If your tooth gets knocked out, you can put it in some milk and you can take it to your dentist and it'll help save your tooth. And the, what will be left is the proteins of the dentin. So, yeah. Interesting. Okay. So... I'm, I'm thinking maybe that the coffee one's gonna stain it really bad. That's what mm -hmm. people always say, you drink too much coffee, it's gonna stain your teeth. Is that gonna be possible? Or are I, they I, just gonna dissolve? I think they might somewhat dissolve because of the acidity of it. But so actually, thinking about it now, you know, the coffee, we think about staining your teeth all the way. I actually have found in my research that coffee is one of the least acidic drinks 
that you can really find. So it's actually not terrible for you. So I don't think personally it's gonna dissolve it, but I think it will stain it pretty good, but we'll find out. Okay. Yeah, I think it will also stain it. Okay, so we'll just see what's left by the end so, of this. Well, we've got some jars here and I think we can just pour some of each of our, they're not Let's all do drinks, it. but our liquids into the jars and then pick a good tooth for each one and then we'll seal them up for a week and see what happens to them. Fantastic. So while Nate is pouring these, Dr. Joe, you had mentioned that when that lemon juice in, know, they think, okay, well, if I'm gonna drink soda, I may have to make sure you know brush my teeth right mm. after to you know make sure that I'm keeping my. teeth. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right there because she said something really interesting that you need to brush your teeth directly after drinking sodas um, because that's how you keep them healthy. And while that is slightly true, it's actually bad or worse to brush your teeth directly after eating something acidic. I'm talking directly after. And that's because it actually weakens your enamel rods and stuff, and you can brush away and actually hurt your enamel more than help it. So what you actually wanna do is wait 30 minutes to an hour before you brush to let that mineralization happen and get that enamel back to a healthy order before you brush your teeth. Is that good or bad for you? It's actually bad. Oh, he said it. It's actually bad. Wait a half an hour. Half an hour. you have uh, these minerals in your teeth, calcium hydroxyapatite crystals, okay. that demineralize. And when you demineralize them uh, and then brush straight away, you can actually brush the crystals away because it basically makes them kind of sharp and pointy and it's easy to just knock them off. Man, it's almost like this guy's a dentist or something. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get back into it. And so it will destroy your enamel over time doing that or, or your dentin or your cementin, depending on where you're brushing. So you're basically but. just like brushing off part of your teeth. Exactly you yeah, right. Oh, Slowly microscopic parts, but if you do it over time, you know, it's, it's bad for you. Especially like, I mean, the orange juice. I like this guy. What's his name, Dr. Joseph? Hey. Good job, Dr. Joseph. You went to a good school. You know a lot. And then brushing right after, not only does it taste horrible, but it, you know, will hurt your teeth. So we've got going around Coca-Cola, Coca white, white vinegar, vinegar carbonated That's be an water. That's one. I'm interested to see that one. Iced, iced coffee, coffee, milk. 2% milk Oops. and lemon. So he said 2% milk. I do want to reiterate that if you're going to be putting your tooth in a thing of milk, actually whole milk is better um, just for the fat content. I don't know why. I don't know why. I would just put it in a cup of spit. Okay, let's keep going. Our Coca-Cola tooth. Goodbye, white tooth. Let's see if we can. Oh, it's. And it's gone. There it is. There right, it there. is right, there. right there. You can see it. Uh, vinegar. Vinegar. Let's go with a giant. You know, before she puts all these teeth in there, would you guys handle some of these teeth? I'm not going to lie, guys. I got a little story for you. I had a bunch of these teeth in dental school, and I'll tell you what, you actually have to put them in bleach to keep them, you know, uh, safe and not like nasty and, and, and everything else. But the smells on this is not good. I don't recommend anybody carrying a whole entire jar of teeth, but if you do have to, just know it's going to be smelly. So would you touch a, would you touch a tooth like this? Let me know down in the comments below. Would you get in there and then throw some teeth around? Let me know. Some teeth. Let's do it. We've seen what happens when you put eggs mm. into vinegar. It mm -hmm. dissolves the shell. I think several people may have seen the trick where you can take a turkey wishbone and leave that in vinegar for like a week and it becomes very rubbery. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see what this is going to do to the tooth. Will it dissolve it? Will it make it squishy? All right, another super white one for Ooh, our super coffee. Super white one in the coffee. Milk. Let's go ahead. Let's try one that really needs some calcium there. This is uh, quite the destroyed tooth. Uh, put it, we'll put be back in about a week. Though. Yeah. Come back. See what's happened then. Set these on a counter. And before we get into the results, I just wanted to let you guys know that we do have an oral care company called somethingnicecompany.com. Every brush purchase goes to a kid in need. So every time you buy one, we give one away to a kid in need at a children's hospital. I appreciate you guys. You can find the link down below. Now let's see what the results were. <laughs> the teeth have been sitting in our liquids for the whole time. Uh, I think it's time to, to drain them out and see what's happened to our teeth. Everybody Let's see. With. Deep, oh, deep milk. Breath. I'm definitely not going to try oh. and breathe it at all. Pause. Milk, I personally don't think that anything happened to it. I think it's going to be perfectly fine. Let's see. We oh, definitely yeah. have some curdling going on. Oh, oh good. Curdling. I didn't think about that leaving a oh, milk. Oh, it's actually oh, oh, that's so gross. Suction up the oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to suction no, up the cottage cheese. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, curdling oh, We have milk. some tooth yogurt. Not really See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I can be in a mouth all day long, but curdled milk grosses me out. Am I weird? Really bad smell. Pour it on in. Oh, dude, it's that's, not you know that's strange. I know, this so is just to gross. find the tooth. It's strange. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, no. So here's, you know, starting out, this is the tooth that was in milk. What do you think? Do you okay. think it looks like it's changed much? 
No, it looks, it looks pretty like strong. It hasn't really so changed we'll, much. We'll see. Uh, I'll feel it if you would like. Scrape the it! calculus that we had on it, it's still there. It's still hard. So yeah, no, it, this is fully intact still. But yeah, we have calculus, basically. They weren't ding, ding, ding! Guess who was right? Me! All right, let's figure out what happened in the next one. Okay, interesting. You can keep milk in your mouth for over a week. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it, but yeah, except for it's going curdle. I'm not be sure nasty. which liquid this is. Based on how much the top is bulging, I'm guessing this is the carbonated, it's carbonated water. Yeah, that's water. I I, I Ooh, this tips, one. Okay, so. so pause before he gets it open. What do you think is going to happen? Carbonation technically can cause some dissolving. I don't think it's going to fully dissolve the tooth, but I do think it's going to weaken the enamel a little bit. I'm interested to see this one. So lock in your answers. Yeah, it's probably carbonated water. It doesn't smell like vinegar. I was very concerned that you were about to drink that. Just Even I vinegar. am not quite that crazy. Let's see. To me, this also looks like it's in pretty good condition. Huh? And we were talking about how the carbonation isn't great for it because it does form an acid uh, in the Carbonic liquid. Carbonic acid. Um, and so that could be partially dissolving the tooth as well. Give us your thoughts. So it doesn't scratch too easily. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that a regular tooth would scratch that much. Um, it might be a little bit softer. It's really hard to tell. The calculus, though, actually is just coming straight off. So it definitely... <laughs> So it, yeah, it probably did demineralize to some degree. Wow, so maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. So it seems to me like still, so remember there's sugar, there's carbonation, which forms carbonic acid, and then there's also citric acid, which is the main player in the game. So it looks like sugar and citric acid, sugar causes the cavities and these two dissolve, but it seems like just the carbonation by itself might not be too big of a deal. That's crazy. I never knew. I always assumed. But another thing is, is maybe the carbonation dissolved over that time. Maybe it was flat, not carbonated. So I don't know how long it really lasts. Kind of a hard experiment to do. But as far as what we see here, carbonation, not that big of a deal. Let's uh, move on to what I assume is our vinegar. Ooh, vinegar. Okay. Suck out the vinegar. What do we think? I actually don't really know. I know vinegar is acidic, so... You know, I'm assuming that it's probably going to wipe away some of the enamel, make it kind of soft. Um, but I think the dentin or the inside of the tooth should stay fairly similar for all of these just because there's much more protein in it. So let's see what happens. Okay. To me, the enamel on this one looks Ooh, ruined. enamel looks yeah, ruined. Oh, it, it looks, looks very, very chalky. chalky. Yeah. <gasps> yeah you oh! He just took his thumb and just wiped off a piece of enamel. I mean, right oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the enamel of he the tooth. He just wiped that bad boy right off, off that tooth. tooth. That's Maybe crazy. Maybe this side was on the actual, like, close to the ground. So I guess that makes sense. Vinegar is pretty yeah. acidic. And so, but yeah, look at how it just kind oh, of wipes away. That's that just dissolving. I wouldn't say it's like jello squishy, but it's definitely... Um, As teeth go, it's squishy. Yes. For a, yes. Squishy for a tooth. Yeah. It's kind of like chalky, That's like it's a piece of wet chalk. Yeah. So there you go, guys, vinegar. No bueno, I would not be swishing around vinegar in your mouth for weeks, but if you're doing that, then um, I think you got some other issues we gotta talk about. Two teeth in here, and we have a lot of what I think is just lemon Oh, pulp. this is it's the lemon juice. Tooth. There's lemon pulp in there. But we've oh, got a very man. similar look on the enamel of these ones, that bright white that I think is gonna be chalky. This is our- Okay, so what is everybody's lock in your answers? What do you think is gonna happen? I think lemon juice is gonna be the worst super super acidic citric acid that thing is a dissolving machine i think that this thing is just going to get wrecked let's see lemon juice some of that enamel came off on my pliers as i was or my tweezers as i was pulling it out so i think that's at least as destroyed as the vinegar oh, that's softer than the oh softer, he just yeah, totally took half the freaking away. thing oh off gosh. so yeah. that's more like a paste than a chalk here you, yeah grab on it a little more and you you'll see i might have grabbed the the just the softest part just, yeah Man, he is just away. literally just oh, pulling gross. away. This that is the one sugar. area it touched the glass, mm -hmm. and that just protected. That's yeah, crazy. it protected it. But as you can see, everywhere else, it's uh, basically just wiping just the enamel right off. Right. One of these is Coca-Cola, and one of these is coffee. I don't. I'm actually, I think not 100%. You're holding yeah, coffee. Okay. Okay. I, I, think so. I was gonna say this is Coca-Cola by the bulge. Oh yeah, the carbonation. Well, that like sealed itself down. That's definitely it smells coffee. like coffee. Yep. Okay, we got coffee. Everybody lock in your answers. What do you think is going to happen? I don't think personally, I mean, coffee may be slightly acidic, so maybe a tiny bit done. I don't think it's going to do much other than just stain the tooth a little bit. Let's see. 
The enamel isn't too stained. That's like an initial reaction is to say that it doesn't look too stained. Looks pretty but good. I would say a lot of the staining could probably come off. Yeah, it could come off with a good polishing. And I was just testing here to see if the, the coffee had like degraded. The enamel seems completely intact, unlike our acids. The hook is doing nothing to I'm it. I'm smart. And I imagine I'm also just pulling away a layer of the dentin that was affected by the coffee, but it is. Okay, so what he's doing right now is obviously the stain on the enamel, which is what you see in your mouth, really wasn't that bad, surprisingly, probably a little bit. Now the roots did get really stained, but those are inside your bone behind the gum. So honestly, I mean, you're not gonna have to worry about your roots getting stained unless they're visible already. So coffee actually handled it pretty well. Coca-Cola, the main question, what Coca -Cola. is Coca-Cola Coca Now here it is, the Coca-Cola. No. Oh my god. Coca-Cola is always meant to be this crazy thing. They, you know, dissolve pennies and rust and all this crazy stuff. So do you think this tooth is going to be completely dissolved to nothing? I honestly don't know. I, I would assume it's probably going to be, you know, hurt. I don't know if it's going to be hurt as bad as the lemon juice was because that's super concentrated citric acid. So, you know... I think it'll probably be still bad, but not as bad as the lemon juice. Let's figure it out. Oh, Gosh. No. Let's see. <laughs> no. Let's just get a get a quick look before I even oh, take no. it out of the is jar. It gone? It might fall apart. Oh my oh, god, no. look at that thing. That wow. thing is black. Yo, that's Have you ever bad. seen an actual tooth in someone's Oh, I wonder if it's gonna fall like apart that. when you uh, take not it out. All the way around, me. but the surface area, yes, actually. This? You've seen like, this color. I, I've seen Basically, it's just heavy were calculus. They, were eating. they eating cigarettes? <laughs> Probably. Char, you can see the little car. spot where it was I really up do think a lot of that staining, again, is the outside layer. But a nice, good dental cleaning like this. And so, what you're scraping off, you think, is something that would just. That's grow exactly. Back. Yeah, it looks like no, eating no, cigarettes. I, this is cementum. Cementum is connected to, actually to the bone. It's a fine layer, and I oh think that's gosh, what we're scraping off. Which, too. as I said, I think it's a lot of the proteins of the periodontal that we're scraping off. The enamel, yeah, maybe it didn't minimize a little. Yeah, it's definitely. So what we're looking at is looks like the tooth itself, it went in the tooth and it kind of like dissolved it from the inside, but it looks still uh, intact. It doesn't look like it's gonna just pull away like the other tooth did. Now the root and the cementum, that stuff is connected to your bone and the PDL. And, and so, like I said, it's not gonna get down in there. So I'm more worried about the top of the tooth because that's what the actual Coke would touch. So I'm interested to see when he starts scraping it, how uh, soft it really is. Crumbly a little bit, but not not that bad comparatively. Yeah. I, but sure that has, stain still isn't coming off yeah, either. So. Yeah, it sure has stained it. And yeah, it's mm. definitely scraping off a little bit. So it looks like we do have some crumbliness of the enamel. Okay, that's not good. The staining is not possible to come out. The entire tooth is black now. I don't even want to know what it would be like if you had a nerve and a pulp in there. So obviously, Coke is pretty bad too. So Dr. Joseph hit the nail on the head. Make sure you brush your teeth but 30 minutes after you eat something acidic and obviously avoid wishing these things around in your mouth for seven days at a time. I'm gonna go brush my teeth now.